July 27th, why we worship Jesus. We worship Jesus Christ because of who he is. But there is a second reason why we worship him. To begin with, Jesus is in heaven. He is not in the manger, in Jerusalem, on the cross, or in the tomb. He is ascended and exalted in heaven. What an encouragement this is to suffering Christians to know that their Savior has defeated every enemy and is now controlling events from glory. He too suffered, but God turned his suffering into glory. But where is Christ in heaven? He is in the midst. The Lamb is the center of all that transpires in heaven. All creation centers in him, the four living creatures, as do all of God's people, the elders. The angels around the throne encircle the Savior and praise him. He is also at the throne. Some sentimental Christian poetry and hymnody dethrones our Savior and emphasizes only his earthly life. These poems and songs glamorize the gentle carpenter or the humble teacher, but they fail to exalt the risen Lord. We do not worship a babe in a manger or a corpse on a cross. We worship the living, reigning Lamb of God who is in the midst of all in heaven. Scripture for today, Hebrews chapter 4 verses 14 to 15. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast a confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Additional scripture. Read all of Revelation 5. Meditate on the fact that Jesus Christ is in heaven as your personal mediator, pleading your case. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 5. Amen.